Oh, 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 oh. Dude, dude, that thing's huge. There we go, I got the new lure on. Got all the hook sharpened. Jointed shallow raider. Let's go. I like this color, like a clown color. It is currently going on 8 a.m. So we got about five hours or so to fish at the most before I gotta head to work. And we're gonna be throwing baits pretty much all over. We're gonna be throwing different styles of crankbaits for the most part and jerk baits. Probably gonna try some glide baits as well. But we're gonna fish all over this river as much as we can. This is the highest the water's been recently. They got all three floodgates open. So that's a ton of water rushing through right now. Every single time I'm casting, I'm always doing a figure eight at least twice around back and forth or so. Just because most of the time when I do see a fish, they will be following you know, on figure eight. And that's whenever I catch a couple of my messes. But for now, we're just gonna keep grinding, throwing these big baits, these big crank baits, and hopefully get a big musky. All right, guys, this is what we're throwing today. We got a little, uh, I think this is a flat stick jointed, flat jointed flat stick by Storm. Uh, it's in that fire tiger pattern right there, as you can tell. Looks pretty good. I have the bite. Um, fish have seemed to be biting on this recently, but we'll just see how it goes today. We're gonna toss right under there into this little crevice. Last time I was here, I caught a bat or a uh, muskie under here. Just kind of let it sit. Do it a couple cranks, a couple cranks. Let's see if we can get a follow up. Dude. Nate. What? There's like four people at the same area. Huh? Do you see that? What? Oh! 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 Dude, that's a big one. Holy shit. Dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's, he's stacked. He's stacked. No Holy. Way. Dude. Holy crap. That's a big one. Holy crap. Is that bigger than one you caught dude, last time? Dude, that thing's huge. Holy crap! The other nice shit worth it. The dry is so worth it now. This Only might be the the largest one I've caught. Probably ever. is. Yeah, that's, pro it. that's probably your biggest. That's got to be. This thing is huge. Big enough. Big enough. Heck yeah! Made the trip worth it. Let's Definitely go. for sure. Alrighty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, ready to get the release? Yeah, what's up going on? You ready? Yep. Alright. Three hours later, probably what three and a half. Oh, he's ready. Oh, he's ready to go. <laughs> Nice. Thanks, appreciate that. Cool Isn't it awesome? This water's so clear for no it's crazy. Alrighty, yeah. Hey, good talking with you. Yep. Alright, yep. Let's go, man. That's so probably your biggest must be. Yep. I was just right here. I was in the water. Kind of waiting with my boots a little bit. These rocks, there's a couple of piles of these rocks, and I was like, might as well just cast it down there. Uh, Nate said he saw a little blow up earlier and so I was just casting it and all of a sudden I felt I got like I got snagged in the rocks but it wasn't it started pulling back so I like was lifting it up and I saw this big musky and it was crazy. We got it in Nate came in clutch with the job. Luckily we got him in with Nate. Uh, there's no way I could have done that by myself. No yeah, way. I so, made the drive worth it. So worth it. And I was just thinking to myself like <laughs> the sun just popped through the sky a little bit made it a little brighter out here and I was just thinking like Maybe we'll get lucky with the feeding window here. All five musky I've caught here. All five of my life have gone on this exact lure. So nice, love this lure. I think it's just like a six, five or six inch jerk bait. Yep, let's go, dude. Let's keep going. We got some momentum now, dude. That bite's on. We gotta keep going, dude. I'm gonna turn down. Yeah, maybe something more like, something more natural. The natural colors, that, that, I don't know if you still have that one jerk bait, the, yeah, 
the um, this one, but in the natural color that you were throwing. You caught like two of them when you were throwing that. Yep, yeah, that one. Throw that, dude. That's the exact color I have. Just throw that. That's that's exactly what I always catch them on. Here. How are you working it? Straight retrieve. I go like like that. Just give it a couple pauses. Keep going. A couple jerks sometimes, but mainly just a straight fast retrieve. So as you can see, we just went to the other side. I've been fishing this side in a while. We fish pretty much all over that side. So coming over here for a change, don't got a whole lot of time left, but hopefully we can find some more before we get head out of here. At least we caught one, made the drive worth it. Mission accomplished. Now I just need to get myself a musky. I need to get a 40 inch. My biggest is still that 39 and a half I caught back. Oh, there's a tiny one. Dude, look at this musky. Hey. Oh, dude. It's a tiny one. I'm not even Are you this serious? Guy in the net. Mate. Dude. Yeah. I'm not even putting this in the net. What the? Mate, why are you freaking out? Yeah. Here. What do you want to do? Record? This is not worth dude. messing up a net. Dude. What was that like second cast in the spot? He wow. caught one. I've seen this guy eat it right at my feet. I just set the hook, but I'm not even gonna mess with this guy. This is a juvenile. I think <laughs> it is a juvenile. Dude, you gotta measure it though. It's like a it, stalker. Though. Dude, you caught one. Let's go. I was just talking to the camera saying, now I just need to get myself a muskie. <laughs> and as I said that, I think second cast on this side, we just got over Measure, here. measure right now. Measure, get the measuring tape out. We gotta see how long Look that is. Look how tiny that thing is. That's a pretty here. little tiny musky. Let's that looks huge go. though. <laughs> just just a tank, guys. That's why we're out here. This is why we're out here. <laughs> no, I'm going to let See you, buddy. Well, dude. at least I'm not skunks. How did you just catch that, dude? You didn't. You said, hey. I said, <laughs> I said, hey. I just looked in the air. <laughs> I was like, Dude, where did you get the bite from? Right did he here. do a figure eight? Well, I can barely see with all this foam, but no, I was just wrecking it. And I stopped it right at my feet. I thought I felt some. And he's just sitting there and I just set the hook and I just lifted him out of the water. Like, the oh, fuck? here we go. He just caught a muskie. That's crazy. <laughs> That's why we drove out an hour out here just for a, a little 20 inch muskie. No, I'm not gonna complain though. No. Fish is a fish. At least I caught one. That's really funny how that worked out because I was just saying to you guys, I need to catch a muskie. I need to catch a muskie. That's crazy. Did I tell you that color works? Yeah. I told you. Yeah, you're right. I, I switched to a more natural color. I'll show you here in just a second. I've caught a few muskie on this exact lure in the past. Shad color, very basic, very natural looking in this clear water. Yes, it is pretty clear water. The way I'm working it is just, I'm doing a straight retrieve, pausing it, giving jerks, pretty much all of that just mixed up. No very specific way. Just doing whatever I want. Trying different techniques to bring it in. Hopefully that means there's a biting window because the first three and a half hours we had nothing. We saw one fish and he wasn't even following the lure. We just saw him on the bank. He caught his fish about 30, 30 ish minutes ago. And now I just caught that tiny one. So like I said, hopefully this is a biting window. This is also the highest I've fished here with the water levels. They got all the floodgates open, like I said earlier. It's pretty, pretty fast water moving through here. Current's moving pretty good. Most of the other times we've been out here, the water's been very low and the gates have been shut down to like maybe two small portions of water coming out. We were in a drought for a while, but now we've gotten tons of rain and snow melting and it's all just coming down. And I imagine this spring it'll probably rain a bit more too. So my guess is the water will probably be this high for a while, better half of the spring into summer. Conditions have been very similar pretty much every time we've come out. But it took a little longer than I expected. But I mean, that's really the case. You can't expect to catch must be that fast very often. I don't know how much longer I'll be out here. Probably not much. This wind has just picked up more and more. 
pretty dang breezy out here. You have any words? It's tough out there. Yeah. Very tough. We did have a very small window. Parker caught 35 inch musty. That's actually a pretty good fish. Happy to get at least one good one. We went over to the other side and I caught one on like my second cast or so. Tiny, tiny juvenile musky. That's nice. But at least at least I didn't get skunked. Yeah, that's, that's really what okay. matters. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Give this video a like if you enjoyed. See you guys next time.